But for my muffin. Right, everybody, okay. smile. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>
don't know. It reminds me of some of those sort of early Ibanez y kind of roadster sort of. Uh, yeah. Ma maybe even. It's a pleasant show. Maybe even a sort of a smidgen sort of Jaguar y. You know sort what? Of, Hats um, off to PRS for coming up with yet another great shape. Yeah, it's one of those shapes that absolutely is. It's, it's unlikely to ever to be universally loved, but it, what'll probably happen is some people go, oh, and other people will go, mm. Um, but it's not it's not one of those shapes that you, you would immediately have a problem with. No. You know. So other than that though, features are mahogany body, um, uh, such and such a scale length that I've forgotten, but insert here, just here, this is the scale uh, length. Rosewood fingerboard. Um, Rosewood fingerboard. Uh, the electronics and the bridge are probably the, uh, the, the two newest sort of things. So if we start with the electronics, uh, we have a, uh, the humbucker at the, at the bridge is, is lifted from the Starla guitar. Uh, often reminds me visually of like a, a, a Gretsch sort of filtertron, but a, well, I get the, the tonally... Well, the pickups look a little bit Gretschy They to do, me. don't they? But tonally speaking, it's, it's just a decent sounding humbucker. Uh, the neck one is the interesting one. They call it a Type D single coil. Enormous pole pieces, you know, real big bullets there. Is that because she wants and the D? She wants the D. Uh, it's pretty low hum, which is kind of cool. Um, but Chap has noticed an interesting thing. I noticed thing, an interesting thing about the Type D which is that if you're playing hum, uh, harmonics, for example, on a bridge pickup, they come out as you'd expect them to, but on the neck pickup, oh, you, you, don't, you get them here, but you don't get them at oh, all. Interesting. But watch. But they are there. They're absolutely there, but they're disguised by the pickup. Well, somebody clever at PRS Part of me doesn't like, why and part of me kind of wonders why Why is that? Yeah, it's yeah. more sort of a wonder why, isn't it? So there are the electronics. Uh, there is a coil tap on the humbucker. So you've got a three-way switch for single coil, single and humbucker, humbucker on its own. Uh, or, of course, if you coil tap, you can get that uh, variation of tones, but with a single coil at the back. The bridge is interesting. Um, yes. brass and two three per side. Two per side. Oh, for three strings, three strings per side. Per sorry, side, but two. Yeah. yeah, two saddles. So shall um, I give them a close up? Do that. Give them a close up. Oh, that's about as close as I can go. I'm tethered. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Um, regular sort of PRS machine heads. Regular PRS headstock design. So you, you know the locking machine heads. It's a you know rolled edge fretboard. So you know for the old duffers like me, I love the feel of this instantly. Nice belly cut on the back here. Um, it's just a very tidy guitar uh, for, you know, I, I mean, I know we always say uh, stuff, stuff is affordable and I know that's a relative term and everything like that. But these are sort of round about the 1100 mark, which well, I think Well, they've got gold on them though, because like, everyone's got cool. a bit of gold writing on the top yep, there. handwritten so. serial numbers. Bit What's of your serial number? Uh, mine is 15520 oh, That sounds like your phone number. <laughs> uh, mine is 15520121110. Mine's a binary stock code virtually, isn't it? So, yes. Um, you, said, um, you said standard uh, PRS tuners. I have to just say, I think the PRS tuners are some of the best you can get. I've always, always found them non-slip. Yeah. And also, I love the little mechanism at the top that you use a pick into. Yeah, do you know what? It's, it's funny. I'm, well, they're not this pick. It's way too thick. I mean, well, they're not this pick. I'm the uh, opposite. You don't like them, do you? I like the locking. I like the shallow style machine. I, they lock I, on the I back. much prefer locking at the yeah. top because the ones at the back. When you when you're stringing a guitar, if you undo it, and yeah. some people here are going to go, yeah, I know this is the truth, and please comment yeah. and thumbs up if that is the truth. You undo it, it and, and the string comes out. But when you try and get the string back in, sometimes. You undo, oh, yeah, but it yeah, doesn't yeah. come it doesn't, down. Doesn't pull the post you have to like down, tap it, it yeah. to put that little pillow inside go down. Anyway, and we have a slight difference in amplification for your oral pleasure. Aural. Aural pleasure. pleasure. Um, <laughs> so look, I've got, kindly donated by the uh, lovely people at Victory, a, a V40 into a 2x12 cab. And so I get to use my favourite pedal board all the time now, as this is kind of like a pedal board monster. I haven't got a pedal board monster, but it could be if it wanted to be. I've got the Countess, the Lean back Limbo, v so people can see. The V30 right here, which is what I've also been using at home for a bunch of my videos from the flat. Um, I've got it in low mode, and it's just an absolute beast of a yep. little dirty amplifier. So basically, Rob is doing the dirty stuff. I've got the nice, clean sort of sounds. And anyway, look, shall I do some tones? Yes. Uh, so tone-wise, I've switched all my pedals off. So. Tone-wise, we have a very lovely sounding neck pickup here. So this is this Type D. Mm -hmm. 
Is it me or is, is it... Do it on your amp, because I think I probably to. dialed mine in a bit dark. a good contrast actually because it's yeah. good to hear. So well, I did say at the beginning you, your sounds very dark. Yeah I love a dark sound. You though, do love a big fat dark sound. I mean that. Talking of John Mayer it just reminds me a little bit of that sort of um, continuum era where he had that uh, two rock kind of thing with the um, where it sounded like Every, it sounded like he was playing his strat with like the volume with just like one less, and it just took a tiny bit of the shrillness off the top you of the sound, which I like. You are absolutely gay for Mayer, right? I am so gay for Mayer, it's <laughs> unbelievable at the moment. Did anyone <laughs> else see that Periscope video that he did recently? <clears throat> of I must have watched that 20 times now, so there we are. And if John Mayer is watching this video, <laughs> I'd just like to say, be. it is genuine admiration and appreciation. Oh, he's massive. Especially for the trio. Uh, anyway, so let's do the bridge pickup on both amps. So yeah. oh, it's just beautiful. Is that okay, Rabir? It's not clipping. Yeah, you're right. We were just on <laughs> the limits. <laughs> on the limit. <laughs> Um, with the coil tap, it goes a little thinner. But actually, it kind of... And, and a little kind of uh, cleaner as well. So. Me, uh, let me do that as well then. My favourite tone is the tapped in the central position. Okay. It definitely does that in between the strat sound, doesn't yeah, it? What's, really my, nice. what's mine like on that? Can anyone tell that Lee has been practicing? Tell them what you've been doing. I've basically, I don't know, I've, I've picked up my guitar, I've made a conscious effort. Actually, don't tell anybody this because I've been doing mainly this at work, so shh. Don't Apart from the 300,000 people watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to pick my guitar up for at least half an hour to an hour a day, uh, mostly not plugged into an amplifier, and I've been jumping on YouTube and doing what probably all you guys do and finding guitar players that I like and just trying to play. Um, so do you know anyone you've been learning from? Anyone you could shout out to? Well, there was this one guy called John Mayer who was really good, and then another <laughs> guy called uh, John Mayer. Uh, was really... No, I, um, quite a lot of it is I'll just type in uh, um, a search phrase, like a, a certain blues type thing, like turn to turnarounds or whatever like that, and I'll just watch whoever comes up. So, so if you if you make um, guitar lessons on YouTube, chances are I tell you what I do, is learning from I tell you who I do like. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to another review channel now, but there's a, uh, and I can't play anything like as well as this guy, but he's always interesting. There's a, there's a, a review channel called Pop Into The Chemist, huh. which you kind of wouldn't think has anything to do with guitars, but uh, Pop Into The Chemist, I can't remember what the guy's name is, Mike Herman or Sherman, I might have completely got that wrong, but anyway, really, he does kind of like what we do, just like demos of hey, and stuff happening. like that, but he's a great player. Um, so anyway, I've got to show you now, man, because I, I must admit, I've got my board here with the Stax Master and the EP Boost, uh, and actually I've whacked a plimsoll in it now, so I've basically just got a whole board of drive pedals. But this amplifier with drive pedals is just, I'm loving it. So here's your basic Stax Master. <laughs> with the EP boost. And the plim soul. Oh, 
You love a bit of plimsoll. Well, I just, I love, I love this amplifier because it was kind of designed to, although it has got, you know, if you wind it up, in fact, there's a cracking video uh, of myself and Bernie Marsden where he uses one of these throughout uh, an interview that I do with him. And he doesn't use any pedals, he just winds it up and uses his, um, uh, the Beast, you know, the, the, the Beast Les Paul. I've heard of that guitar. Yeah, you've heard of that guitar. Yeah. And he just plugs it and that just like goes, Whoa! Um, But yeah, I've got, you know, I've got my chorus. It's just, this is all in the front end as well. I don't use anything in the effects loop. Anymore. delay. Anyway. Now, look. I don't have any pedals because I couldn't fit them in my car today because I got given a drum kit. Yes. So uh, we'll show you the drum we'll kit do later that in on. another video, <laughs> yeah. yes, absolutely. A whole drum kit, which I carried into Anderton's this morning in just one arm. Um, so all I've got is what's in the amp and on the floor is just a, a switch to change between the dirt channel and the clean channel. So you've heard the clean. It does that thing. <laughs> it does that thing. I, I actually did tweak it until it did that for me because oh. I really. But you know these what? These guitars PRS have a tendency to, to do that, yeah, don't they? they right do. down in, even into like SE standard range. They, there's usually a note somewhere around here that just goes uh, forever. Yes. Let, let me let me just play you a little bit more of that kind of. Go on then. Tone. neck pickup it's even juicier oh, but juicy a bit smoother. Loose. How noisy is it on the neck pickup? Okay so it's full it's full it's a single sing, coil. Yeah, it's a I sing. wonder whether they've done some sort of stacked thing but they haven't. Nah. Really See I thought they had but I think these little uh, screw holes are just adjustments. They're just there to, to be, keep the other ones company. I they think, just kind of make it look a bit more symmetrically nice for people with OCD mm. like me. But no, they're just, you know, kind of badass, normal looking things. Oh, look, it's an interesting, because it's not strung through the body. I'll just come, come closer. Okay, so if you look at the bridge, uh, it looks like the strings go through the body, but they don't, because there's nothing on the back. Look. So they just kind of hook in to these little holes here. So quite an easy sort of um, simple bridge assembly there. Oh, just smash my pedal board up. Lee. Sorry. You're always destroying gear. Um, well, look, there's not much else to tell Wait, you. I haven't given the middle pickup. Haven't you? And, and tap it, and okay. then give them a bit of game with that. the tap. Well, it's funny because on the clean setting, the in-between coil tap sounded best. On the get dirty setting, just full single coil or full humbucker yeah, sounded best. In yeah. my opinion, anyway. In my opinion also. Well, mm, these nice are t-shirt there. Where's that to Thank download? you. This was from the, the first ever download I ever went to. Uh, it's also um, the first time I ever saw two of my favourite bands ever live. Mm. Alice in Chains, yeah, 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 you Queens of the Stone Age. Ooh. And I got to see Carnival live too. Now I'm not a massive Carnival fan, but they were insane live, like insane. And it's kind of a, it's a fun thing because Rabia is the biggest Carnival fan he ever. Is. Oh, and uh, that was my Michael Jackson confession. Oh, and he didn't get to see the gig because he was busy playing download or somewhere else nearby, I think. 
Oh, well, so it was, well it was one of those things. Look, we've done a little jam, uh, which I'm guessing Rory has inserted at certain points throughout this video, and perhaps a slightly longer section will come now, or perhaps it's already been. I don't. We know. don't know. But uh, I don't, is there any need to do any more jamar? I don't. No, I, don't I don't think, think so is. because I we jammed for a long we time. We did jam for a long time. But you so know what's definitely certain? What's that? I'm Rob Chappers. And I've been the captain. We bid you farewell. Oh! Oh! Um, but yeah, I've got.